What is going on guys? I'm Eli Weaver and welcome to a new video. I'm here at the infamous place called Deck Park. This is basically like a park in downtown Phoenix. It's underneath a bridge. There's, it, it used to be a park with a lot of stairs and a lot of ledges. It's basically right by this library, but now like the library is kind of closed. It's kind of just a park. It's still kind of open though. What you don't know is that there's a lot of skate spots here. A lot of dope stairs, a lot of dope ledges. Pretty sick. So the city of Phoenix actually ended up creating a new part of the city and there's a really, really big famous handrail. I don't quite see it yet, but someone did grind it and that's pretty insane. But I'm not really gonna do all that. I'm just gonna kind of sesh whatever and just kind of have a mellow skate session. I only have a couple of hours for the sun before it goes down. So yeah, let's have fun. Let's do this. Put sunscreen on your face. Maybe it's not as much as me. I will tell you, I do get weird looks, but you know what? It's kind of like war paint. I kind of like it. I will say, this handrail is pretty perfect for skateboarding. Really, really nice and buttery. Someone put a knob on it. How could ya, dude? That's what I'm wondering. Maybe I'll post it on the Skate Spots app and someone will find it. It, it is pretty good, but it is pretty steep. It is pretty steep and tall, I will say that. But yeah, the city of Phoenix, they made a new playground. It's pretty sick. Like, there's actually rock. There's like a rock climbing wall. Why didn't they build this when I was a kid? I don't even know what was here before. I think it was just like dirt. But yeah, pretty sick. Let's go skate. Maybe I'll, I'll leave this gap. <laughs> what do you know? I found the spot. And would you look at that, they knob this as well. I guess the city of Phoenix is quite, quite stingy. I mean, not that I'm going to grind this, I'm definitely not. Not even, not even if you offer me $100, I'm not gonna do it. I will end up in the emergency room. <laughs> My mom will have to pay a, a hospital bill. But yeah, there was this one skater named Scarlet Taco. He did grind this, and he did indeed land it, okay? Right, dude so i see this pole i don't know what it's for probably for to stop traffic vehicles or whatever but it's pretty gnarly i have a feeling though that i could ollie it because in my past i've ollied this kind of stool type thing it was probably like three and a half feet tall it was really tall and i just have a feeling that i could do it so let's hail mary let's try this look man it's too high it's not often that I attempt a trick and then I actually give up. Look, if I try this, I'm going to go to the hospital. I'm going to suffer. Like, this is gnarly. I don't know if you know, but this is gnarly. Okay. So I wasn't really feeling that. I'm going to go over to the classic deck park spot and just skate that. It's pretty nice. It's pretty cool because this is actually a famous spot that pro skaters will skate. I've seen a lot of skaters, like even Caswell Berry, Jerry Sue, the American team. I've seen a lot of people actually do tricks on this ledge right here, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I'm just going to have a mellow uh, session downtown. Let's just have a mellow session. Alright guys, I'm actually going to call it quits right here. I'm going to go home and call it a day. It was a fun time. We skated the new spots that Arizona built in downtown Phoenix. Pretty cool. A really gnarly handrail. There was also a smaller street rail, but they were both knobs. Only one person I know 
ever hit it. I think there's only one person to ever hit it in history, so that's pretty crazy. And yeah, we just kind of skated some flat ground, did some manual tricks, and yeah, to be honest, I was actually going to film a different type of video, but I ended up... I was skating the spot that I normally skate, it's on top of a parking garage, and this lady kind of threatened to call the police on me. She kind of said, well, I'm not going to call the police on you, but just leave. And then she kind of said, like, I'm leaving anyway, but then I could see her and her, like, little fancy little friends kind of, like, talking, like, whispering, like, not wanting me to hear. They were calling the police on me, and eventually I was like, dude, like, I'm so over this. Like, I just went home. So, yeah, guys, hit subscribe if you like this video. Leave a comment, you know, saying what tricks you want me to learn. And I'll see you in the next one. Keep skating, guys. Peace out.